You may have heard about an amazing way in which you can keep your crypto and gain interest. That's right, you can gain interest on your crypto just like you would in a savings account. This process is called staking. Sit tight and we'll tell you what it is, how you can do it and how much you can expect to earn. Proof of stake is a consensus algorithm and it is used to validate transactions on the blockchain. This helps keep the data on the blockchain accurate and secure. Proof of stake was created as a more efficient alternative to proof of work key protocol that is behind the world's first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. The proof of work has its problems, but big question marks over its decentralized nature with over 65% of Bitcoin mining coming from China. Proof of work is also very inefficient when it comes to energy. A study in 2018 found that Bitcoin mining uses the same amount of energy as the whole of Denmark. Proof of stake blockchains work slightly differently. Users that choose to stake and forge blocks on the blockchain must lock up a set amount of their crypto into the network. Different blockchains will select nodes based on different factors, including the wealth and age of the node. When a node is selected to forge a block, it will check if the transaction is valid, sign it, and add it to the blockchain. The transaction fee that is associated with that block will then be paid to the forger. If a user attempts to add fraudulent blocks to the blockchain, they will lose more of their stake in a penalty than they have gained as a transaction fee. This guarantees the integrity of the network. Not all cryptos can be staked, including the big boys of Bitcoin and Ethereum, as neither of these coins use proof of stake. There are a host of coins that can be staked though, including Tezos, Tron, Algo and Atom. There is also talk of some of the bigger coins joining the staking club soon, including Ethereum, Chainlink and Ocean. There are a couple of different ways to stake your crypto, and each coin will have different rules and regulations around staking. Users can opt to lock up their crypto and run their own node on the network. There are usually some basic technical requirements to running your own node, such as having a set amount of RAM and a strong internet connection. Users running their own node can be penalized for any downtime or fraudulent transactions that they validate on the network. This will be taken out of a user's stake, there is often a minimum amount that a user must lock up into the network in order to run their own node. An alternative is for users to delegate their right of stake to another user. This is great for users that might not have the resources to run their own node on a network. Users will then receive interest from the delegated node operator. Staking pools can be a great option for users who don't have a huge amount of coins to lock into the network. This is when several users come together to stake their crypto. This means they have a much greater chance of being chosen by the network. Each user will then receive a proportionate share of the stake they put into the pool. In summary, proof of stake encourages a greater number of users to run nodes on the network than in the proof of work algorithm. This makes the process more decentralized and more accessible to the community. That's our video on proof of work and how it can secure the future of blockchain. For more videos and blockchain news, check out our website at uxsequence.io.